Hello everyone, my name is Audrey, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install basic callouts to your LSPDFR. Before we go any further, I never used to do this, but I'm going to have to do it. If you guys, please, please, please could subscribe. It literally takes five seconds. You can always unsubscribe later, but we are so, so close to like getting 2.5k, and I know you guys can get me there in like a matter of like days or weeks, whatever. So please subscribe, because literally 7% of you guys are subscribed in the last 28 days. So please want to do so, and now we'll get on with the video. So the first thing you guys want to do, let's click the first download link down in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the basic callouts mod by Zach. And all you guys are going to want to do is head down here and click download this file. And basically, this is just one of your basic callouts, which is literally why it's called basic callouts. Yeah, I did said that. I said that incoincidentally, but... What you call out to have, you have armed civilian, you have heavily armoured gunman, intoxicated person, stolen vehicles, stolen construction equipment and trespassing. So they're pretty chill as well, apart from, you know, the couple of armoured ones. But they are really, really nice call outs to do, and especially for doing videos, which I haven't done in a while, because I'm just really trying to sort some things out. Everything went pear-shaped, and I had to redo my games again, and nothing's going right at all. So, uh, the LSPD of episodes will be out soon, but just not in the near future, but they will be soon, so do not worry. But if you guys do want to check out all the other files made by Zach, be sure to do so by heading over to this page and clicking find their other files. But what you guys are going to want to do is head over to download this file, make sure you're installing the latest version available to you. don't know why that took so long. Hit agree and download. Click here to speed it up a little bit. Open up the download. Now find your GTA 5 folder by going into your file explorer. Those of you guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. But for those of you guys on Rockstar Games and Epic Games, your GTA 5 main directory will be down in the description below. But those of you guys on Steam, all you guys are going to want to do is go to whatever drive you've installed your Steam on. Go to Program Files 86, go down to Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. And choose a GTA 5 folder you want to mod. But mine isn't here because I put it in a different custom directory, which should be right here. But once you go to GTA 5 main directory, choose the one you want to mod. Mine's going to be this one right here. And all you guys are going to want to do is go into the basic callouts folder, grab both of these plugins, and just drag and drop them onto the side right here. And just like that, if you go into your plugins and LSPDFR, you should be able to see now you have basic callouts successfully installed. Now, this is not a plugin alone. This just runs on LSPDFR, so you will not see this launch when you are loading your GTA 5 in the Rage plugin launching commands or plugins menu but just one more thing if you guys do want to configure some settings go into the uh, grand theft auto plugins and lspfr folder and then go to the configuration settings the one with a little cog next to it and the dot any right click on that and edit with notepad plus plus or notepad whatever you have available to you and here you can enable and disable the callouts and you can also change if the callout is working and that is pretty much it but i hope you guys did enjoy this fast and easy tutorial if you did be sure to subscribe be sure to like because there are not many other people out there like me who do not you know just keep talking so i hope you guys do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye